Hey friends, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to paint a jack-o-lantern. I drew this cute jack-o-lantern. The traceable is on my website, AnnieTro.com. It's six by six. You can scale it to any size you like. A couple things I know I want to do already. I want to have the eyes be like in the mouth, the inside of the the jack-o-lantern be bright yellow and then I want a really dark background so I don't know if the eyes will glow but we'll get a lot of drama okay let's have some fun Okay, let's talk about what I've got going on. This is a six inch by six inch canvas panel from Michaels. I really like the canvas panels. I like that they're stiff and sturdy. Um, you can set them in a little easel, you can frame them. If you frame them, make sure you take this with you because sometimes the corners are a little, little wonky. You want a frame that's got a little forgiveness in it for it to fit in there. I put some tape down to get a nice crisp line uh, for the table that my pumpkin's sitting on. I mixed a brown. Let's talk about colors. Mars Black. Gosh, I might be, oh no, I'm almost using all basics. Mars Black. A Thalo Blue Green Shade. That one's a heavy body. Make sure you can see the Thalo Blue Green Shade. It's almost gone. Need to buy some more. Uh, Quinacridone Magenta. So I mix the brown, yellow, cadmium yellow, medium hue. I buy it in the big tube because I go through more yellow um, than I do some of the other colors because yellow isn't as strong of a pigmented color. So you need a lot more yellow than you do, say, the Quinacridone. The Quinacridone is really strong. You just need a little bit of it usually when you're mixing. And titanium white. Okay, so I mixed the brown by making kind of an orangey red and I put some black in it. And then I thought it was a little green so I put a little more uh, magenta in it. And I'm using a half inch flat brush from Michaels. Oh, and this was this is a palette knife from Blick Art Materials. I just cleaned it. It almost looks brand new except for all the writing's gone on it. Okay, I think that sets the table. This needs more coats. I decided to pop in because it needs to dry. The uh, brown I mixed is transparent because the yellow is transparent and the quinacridone is transparent. But if I use a burnt umber, it says that it isn't transparent, but quite often it looks transparent to me anyway when I paint it. Might have something to do with the pigments in it. Okay, I'm going to paint some more and I'll be back in a bit.
Hey friends, I'm done. I think it looks bluer. Um, I think it's going to look bluer in the video. It's actually a little bit more of a dark aqua right here because I use phthalo blue green shade so then when you lighten it up a little bit or add even when you add the black to it it can make it a little bit more green um, I kept kind of playing with darkening up this side oh I didn't um I didn't get one of my suns out so the light the sun or the light is coming from over here aren't those cute what else Kept making it darker. I made some kind of redder oranges just in small batches. I think it helped me to paint the inside. Um, I kind of went up and down a little bit between white, light yellow, and yellow. I don't know what else here. Maybe you just want to see a, a quick tour. The stem is fun. I ended up, um, I had just drawn some squiggles. But then I ended up getting it to even look spirally by putting little brush strokes on top of the squiggles like that. That one especially. And then a little highlight there. Oh, I've got a little piece of something. Yeah, I think that looks more blue on video. You could paint it purple. So blue and orange are complements. So that's one reason why I went with the thalo blue green shade. And then I thought the thalo blue green shade would give me some fun greens because I just like those greens. But you do pur purple and yellow complements. That'll help it look juicy. You could throw some purple in there too. I put a little brown in here. Oop, my brush is wet. <laughs> kind of see some brown there. But keep in mind, um, I think this is pretty accurate when I have it close. See the mouth. Um, but like when I put it down here, it smooths it out, which is how you would, you know, when you view it at a distance, it smooths out. So that's, it's not a bad thing. Just keep in mind as you're painting, you may see more canvas texture, you know, more texture here. Um, lots of layers because the colors are transparent. So I kept kind of playing with um, bringing things up in value and down in value. Well, let me, oh, here, screenshot. Trying to, sorry, trying not to wiggle, hold it still. So when I look through my phone, the whites are whiter than when I look at it in person because the phone will add some more contrast to it than there is too. Just things that happen. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, I meant to say, when I grab that sun, uh, we have a new merch shelf, and then you can get a sticker. I, I think it's four inches though, so I don't know if you wanna, this is not four inches, this is, oops, sorry if I just bumped my phone there. This is, <laughs> my ruler's so dirty. Well, there's one inch. Oh, you know what? So from here, oh, that'd be three inches. So sort of from, uh, Sun rate is sun rate three inches, so the sticker would be an inch bigger. I, you might like that. I, I, I don't even know the price. I think it's like $2.99 or something plus shipping. Anyway, you should check out the merch shelf. We have great big happy and a heart. Um, Emily works, my favorite daughter who helps me with YouTube and the lies, worked really hard on it. Um, what else we've got in there? Oh, we've got we've got the art hug guy <laughs> in a couple of different different forms. Okay, that's probably enough plugs. I just thought it's kind of fun if that interests any of you. We make a couple bucks depending on what you buy. The stickers, I don't think we make much at all. It's just, it's just fun. All right, well, thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know if you give this a try. The traceable is on my website, AnnieTro.com. It's super fun to connect with you. I love the comments. It's so fun to chat. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.